Welcome grade fives to chapter one, lesson five, number patterns in spreadsheets. Our goal today is to create and identify patterns in spreadsheets. You will need spreadsheet software. The spreadsheet software we'll be using today is Microsoft Excel. And with this spreadsheet software, I've set up Yoshi's spreadsheet for you. So you will have the titles and the item numbers in the spreadsheet. Here's what it looks like. You have your garage sale prices, the number of items, small, medium, and large. Now let's go back to the problem to make sure that this makes sense. Our problem today is Yoshi and his sisters are having a garage sale. As you can see, they have a bunch of items. There's small items, there's medium items, and there's large items. Let's go to the written work. Yoshi and his sisters are having a garage sale. Small items cost $1.50 each, medium items cost $2.50 each, and large items cost $4.50 each. Our question is, how can Yoshi use the spreadsheet to calculate prices? So first, we want to look at who's in the problem, Yoshi and his sisters. And what are the numbers in the bottom? For small items, each one costs $1.50. For medium items, each one costs two dollars and fifty cents. And for large items, each one costs four dollars and fifty cents. And our goal is to help Yoshi use spreadsheet software to calculate the prices. So here we go. If you download if you download our Excel spreadsheet that I provide you on Edmodo, please open it up at this time and pause your video so that you are ready to continue. Now that you have the spreadsheet software open, you can see that the title is there, Garage Sale Prices. It has a number of items. You have small, $1.50 each, medium, $2.50 each, and large, $4.50 each. Each time I click into a rectangle, this rectangle is actually called my box cell. So if I click over here, this cell right now is actually called C6. So I have the letters of the column to the number of the row. And this cell over here is called D3. This is how we keep track of cells and numbers in a spreadsheet. All right. So we want to know um, if Yoshi has a number of items that, small items, that cost $1.50, how can we show a nice list of these prices calculated so we don't have to just punch this in our calculator and write it all down? Let's use the power of a spreadsheet. If I click the equal sign, I can actually put cell B3 into the first item. So, on my spreadsheet, if I have one small item, it will cost $1.50. Now, to make sure that I can keep on going for each one, I'm going to use another equation when I go equals, and I'm going to click on the previous cell, cell B4, and now I'm going to say add a dollar fifty. So I've created my equation B4 plus a dollar fifty. So now I will have two items cost three dollars. Something that I'm grabbing from one item is a dollar fifty. If I add another dollar fifty, it's three dollars. To repeat this. All I have to do is grab the bottom right corner. If you notice, my cursor turns into a plus sign. If I left click it and drag down slowly, my equation will go down all the way down. And my numbers will fill in. So I already in an instant found out if I had 12 items that were small, it would cost me $18. If I follow the equation, each time I go down, I am B4 plus $1.50, so this is B4, plus $1.50, with $3. My next cell, it automatically switched it to B5. That's the power of Excel. It actually kept changes your numbers. So you have B5, B6, B7, B8, B9. I didn't even have to type it in. It did it automatically. And each time I go down, it adds $1.50 to each item. So now I already know that if I have 12 small items, it will cost me $18.
See if you can do that for the medium row column and the large column. Remember to follow the steps, and if you have to, rewind the video so you can see how we made the equation. Good luck. And remember to try to go work through the questions in your textbook and answer them using the power of Microsoft Excel.